What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance, also known as Shadow Blade from Bloodshot Records and Last Life Records. And today I wanted to kind of elaborate on the last live stream that I did, which was yesterday. I wanted to kind of, you know, elaborate on that a bit and what I was getting at yesterday. And this is something that, you know, I didn't really elaborate on that I feel needs to be brought to light. Now, one, I'll admit, yes, I did call out Rectors because of what he is doing. I called out his crew. I called out everyone that he works with. And it wasn't for just some stupid reason. It was for a very legit reason. You see, Rick Hurst wanted to sign Mother Eric Scrubwell to his record label for his image. When Rick Hurst doesn't realize that Eric's image isn't an image at all, that's him in his everyday life. And little does Rick Hurst know that I've already picked out his flaws before he can even realize them himself. And this is something that I've noticed going around, not just with him, but with a lot of artists in the underground and artists in general. And that flaw is they stop making the music and their career about the music and about the money. They lose sight of what started them to do music in the first place. Now, Rep, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you're not talented. I'm not saying that you ain't got skill because you do have talent and skill. But what you lack is something that you've lost sight of. And that is why you originally started doing music. Instead of making your reason for doing music, instead of letting that drive you, you decided to let the money drive you. And that, my friend, is where you have already lost. See, too many mainstream idiots fall victim to money. They lose sight of why they originally started doing music. I mean, you can call me out and say whatever, that's on you. You know, that's your personal opinion. I'm not going to knock you for your personal opinion, dude. But what I'm saying is, the minute that you lost sight of why you started doing music in the very beginning, in the first place, that's when you basically already have signed yourself to... I'm failing. You've already set yourself up for failure. The minute that you took your eye off the prize and why you originally started music in the very beginning, you already lost. See, you might not think that I know you, but I know you a lot better than you think because I see people like you every day, talented good, hardworking artists that fall victim to the money and they lose sight of why they originally started doing music in the first place. Me, I started doing music because it was an outlet for me. It was a way for me to express myself. It was a way for me to release anger and issues. And be able, I was able to talk about issues and that I was that I go through and that I was going through at the time. It was a way for me to create an outlet and show people how I'm feeling. It became an outlet for me. All right. My entire life I grew up being bullied. I grew up being bashed on. I grew up being 
belittled, betrayed. I grew up being beaten throughout my high school and school career by other kids at the school and everybody on social media. Then when I started doing music, I found my outlet. I began to realize that I can help others like me through my music. I wanted to show people that they're not alone, that there is help out there. And yeah, I'm not knocking the fact that you may have helped some people, and that's great. I commend you and I applaud you for that 100%. But the reason you failed is because you took your eye off the prize and started making it about the money and started thinking like the mainstream industry instead of thinking about why you originally started doing music in the very beginning. It don't matter whether you have one fan. It don't matter whether you have 2,000 fans. That don't matter. Yeah, the fans do mean everything. The views do mean everything. And I get that. When you get to that level, I get that. You know, we all go through that phase. I went through that phase. And like I said, yeah, I may have to wait every six weeks to every six months to get paid, and I'm fine with that. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Because that allows me time to build up everything that I have. That allows me time to work harder for what I want to do. That just motivates me more. Because, see, like you, I have a family to provide for. I have two sons and a daughter and a girlfriend to provide for. And, yeah, I can see where financially it would need to come into play at some point. But ultimately, it ain't about the financial for me. It's about creating an outlet for other people like myself, for others who are like me, who feel alone. It's a way for me to show them that they are never alone. See, you lost sight of why you originally started doing music, Wrecked Hearst. And what I meant yesterday by the fact that you know nothing, I didn't mean it in the way that you think. What I meant was, in that sense of, you know, you know nothing as far as what it really truly means to be a great, great, great artist. See, a great artist and a truly great artist never takes his eye off the prize. A truly great artist never forgets where he started or why he started to do music. But you've lost that. You lost all sight of that, and you started making it about the image instead of about the music and helping others like you should be doing. It's people like you that become corrupt by the mainstream. The mainstream takes people like you, and they use them to, your, to their advantage. They use people like you every day. To the mainstream, you're nothing. Guys like you in the mainstream, they come a dime a dozen. But to people in the underground, there ain't nobody like you out there. I can't do the shit that you do. Just like you can't do the shit that I do. We're two different artists. No one is above anyone in the music industry. Yeah, you may have, you know, more experience years-wise than me. Yeah, that may be true. But you can't ever touch the things that I do. You can't touch my style. Just like I can't touch your style. It's a mutual respect. And I'm not knocking or dogging your style. I'll admit, yeah, you got you got some good stuff. I'll admit that. I, I fuck with some of your stuff. But when you started making it 
about the image when it came to my brother Eric <clears throat> that's when you lost all my respect because what you don't realize is that image that you see that is his everyday look that's what he wears every day on a daily basis and he doesn't give a flying fuck he truly does not care Yes, I understand that free never paid the bills, and I respect that. I respect that rule 110%, my dude. But what you don't respect is others' hard work. People like me who have fought harder than anyone to get to where they're at. People like me who have stayed up 24-7, 365, working on holidays, birthdays, going on one, two hours of sleep, busting our asses to get to where we're at. See, you don't truly understand what it is that I've gone through personally as an artist, and I don't think you ever will. I don't think you understand the scrutiny that I've faced, the discrimination that I go through every day from mainstream record labels bashing on me just because of my physical appearance. When to everyone else, my physical appearance don't mean anything. It's my music that they enjoy. It's my music that they love. And will I ever understand why I will never be signed to a major record label? Probably not. Will I ever, will I ever understand why they won't sign me for my image? Probably not. See, they want too many people want to bash on my image. And they want to discriminate. And there's a lot of artists out there like me that do get discriminated against every day. People like myself, like Eric. And I'm sure just like you got discriminated against in the past. And I'm sorry for what I said yesterday, Wrecked. But honestly, man, you've lost sight of the prize and you need to wake the fuck up and realize why it is that you started doing music in the very beginning in the first place, man. So until you shut your fucking mouth, open your fucking eyes, and wake the fuck up. And I don't mean just open your eyes. I mean truly Open your fucking eyes and look the hell around and realize why you started doing music in the very beginning. Until you realize why you started doing it and you make that reason your main goal again. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, but you are doomed to fail. It might not be today. It might not be tomorrow. Hell, it could be two, three years down the road. But somewhere down the line, you are going to fail. And it's because you have lost sight of everything that you hold dear. You've lost sight of your reasons for starting music. And I feel for you. Now, I'm not saying that it's entirely your fault that you lost sight of, you know, why you did music in the beginning. But it's your responsibility as an artist to get that reason back. Now, I'm not trying to drag your family into it, so don't take it that way at all. But honestly, if you were any kind of man, you would look at your family, and you would look at your friends, and you would make those your reasons for fighting. You would do it to help others, just as they have helped you. See, they've helped you a lot more than you realize. 
Yeah, you may have been in the game 18 years, but that don't mean a damn thing if you lost sight of the prize. Those years don't mean a goddamn thing because you've lost sight of what it truly means to be an artist. But me, however, I never forget that. I never forget where I started and I never forget where I came from. You want to know where I started? Right here in this very room next to that window right there. My very first song was recorded on an old school Android phone back in 2010. Now let me tell you something, you got talent, you really do. And I've seen it, I've seen that talent come out of you multiple times, man. But like I said, you need to wake up.